I'm Mrs. Martin, and I'm a social studies teacher at H.D. Woodson. For weeks four and five of the D.C. History Social Studies Distance Learning Plan, we are going to be learning about the impact of the Civil War on the district in order to answer the compelling question, did Washington, D.C. need to be reconstructed after the Civil War? Let's go over the supporting questions and the required tasks while looking through the distance learning plan. The beginning of the plan gives you an overview of the daily task along with the compelling questions. Supporting questions, I'm sorry. So let's take a look at the questions as well as those documents. Supporting question one, what was life in the district like during the Civil War? Here you're gonna look at source A, and you're going to evaluate the significance of slavery in the nation's capital by reading and annotating and answering questions. Here you have source B. You also are going to evaluate the significance of slavery to the nation's capital by reading, annotating, and answering questions. Source C, you are going to evaluate the significance of the nation's capital on the war effort by reading, annotating, and answering questions. And you will complete the because, but, so sentences. For supporting question two, was the Compensated Emancipation Act an example of a just law you are going to look at the major features of the Compensated Emancipation Act, read and analyze the act by completing the questions, and then answer the summary questions on page 11 of the Distance Learning Plan. You will use this source to write a claim, counterclaim essay answering the question, was the Compensated Emancipation Act a just law? You are to read and analyze sources E and F and answer the analysis questions. Was the Compensated Emancipation Act an example of a just law? You're going to begin week five by writing a claim counterclaim paragraph with a minimum of five to seven sentences in your response, be sure to draw from your knowledge of the time period as well as sources D and F as evidence to support your claim. Lastly, let's take a look at supporting question three and the task that you'll be required to complete. Supporting question three is, what were the causes and the effect of population growth in DC after the Civil War? You are going to read and annotate the images in source G and the article in source H. After each source, complete the source analysis tracker that you see here and collect data on the challenges and the opportunities facing DC after the Civil War. Remember to read and annotate your text and your sources to best help you complete the performance task. The performance task is to design a visual summary in which you depict the social, political, economic, and geographic conditions in DC after the Civil War. Visual summary should accurately depict historical context and include a written explanation that includes four to six pieces of evidence. Remember, thank you for your hard work. I know that both your teacher and I appreciate your effort. Continue to refer back to the distance plan. Always annotate your text and always contact your teachers if you have any questions or need further assistance. Thank you and have a great day.